try watching the show without or without looking at it and listen to how they chop together our sentences. <laughs> <laughs> we call them Franken sentences. Basically, they'll take like a little bit from here and a little bit from there, and then all of a sudden you said, "Or is an idiot?" <laughs> <laughs> you had to throw that in there today, didn't you? Yeah. That, that whole stuff editing thing of yours is just shot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean they. they, they oh, or is a beep. Yeah. Um, no, if, 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 you, uh, if you don't actually physically see us say a whole sentence out of our mouth, don't believe it. <laughs> or, or, or if you say it, and we like jerk, we're like, yeah, we're talking about Frank today. <laughs> it's also funny, whenever we're cracking open a mold, the cameras will just flock, just waiting for yeah. it to crack. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I mean, there could be not a camera around, and you're breaking it, and if, if it cracks, you're like, damn. Yeah. There'll be one there in a second, just to catch that anguish on your face. And it's like, you're rich, man. Rotate your mold. First of all, I want to say you are all very talented. I've been watching Thank since you. season Thank one. You. Thank you. Roy, you are extremely good at fabrication. Thank We've you. already seen that through the uh, Star Wars challenge, the uh, junkyard android, I work, whatever. Um, Laura, you're your work for making each of your, even if it's meant to be like a scary design, like the Frankenstein one, you always somehow bring out the UV in it. Um, how do you guys feel about having the pros against the uh, noobs? Any can answer this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, we had no idea that these guys yeah. would be back. So <laughs> it was awfully intimidating. But at the same time, I love it because I've learned tons from these guys. Well, you know, I kind of felt really bad for them because I think that they got a real deal where that was concerned because they ended up skewing all of the publicity towards us. And it's like, you know, I felt bad for them because it's like these people thought they were coming into a completely new setting. They didn't tell them anything. So in, th in that respect, I felt bad for them because it kind of takes the limelight away from them and their effort. But then again, it's, it's like a whole gimmicky thing for, for the for the whole show, so it's only better for, for all of us in the end if, if you guys are watching, if more people are watching because of the fact that you have a favorite one of us up here that came back, so that's kind of a, a good thing, too. Yeah, well, and, and things, I mean, they, they didn't tell us what was going on. Yeah, they didn't tell they, us they, they had no idea that it was going to be you know, us against you know, uh, rookies or, you know, we didn't know who all was going to be on the show. So, I mean, I, I remember they contacted me, I thought it would be like an all-stars. Yeah, yeah so it's we going to be like all returning people, people, you know. And then we, we sort of talked, and, I sort of found that, you know, there's only just a few of us going, it's like, okay, well, this will be, you know. Yeah, we were all, like, counting. We were like, wait, one, two, three, this isn't, this isn't, that doesn't add up. <laughs> <laughs> so there were all kind of rumors flying around. Yeah, it, it was funny because, uh, actually, me and RJ and Laura were all uh, scheduled to be at, at a con in Florida called Spooky Empire. Right, this and, right. and we all had to cancel. And it's like, okay, well, people are going to put two and two together. It, it's it's funny because I, I actually ran into RJ the weekend before we started filming Face Off, and RJ's like, "So did you ever get a chance to apply?" And I was like, "No, I've been busy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I saw him like the year before, and I was like, "Oh yeah, dude, you should audition for the show." <laughs> well, I mean, even funny is that Scott Ramp, who's on the show this year, was actually over in London at a makeup show and kept running into Neville and Glenn everywhere, and he kept telling me because nobody knew that we were going to be on the show. Mackenzie yeah. didn't know until, didn't even until know. the day that she read the script, the day before we arrived. So I mean, so nobody knew. So here was Scott was spending all this time with, with Glenn and Neville and wasn't able to, to tell him. I mean, he, he knows Neville from, they went to school together years ago, which goes to show you how old Scott and Neville are. <laughs> Hi, I want to know who makes all of those light casts and how do you ever get a cowl to fit with all of that heavy stuff when you're working on a blank cast? Uh, on black mold because they're not full head light casts. Mm. Well, Greg, Greg Cannon and his crew do the light casts. Um, they do that all beforehand, and they you know correct the positives and pour up the ultra cows every week. Um, but you only get one. Right? You would only get one. Yeah, they, they they make a new one for each episode based on which models are available for that that shooting block. Um, and then we have like what three or four different size uh, mannequin heads that we can kind of pick and choose from. And we have a book with all the measurements of everybody, so that we have to like build some wardrobe or something. So that one of the measurements is like their head size, so we can kind of figure out which mannequin is closest to that person's head size. So there's there's resources, and a lot of it is just like making it happen, making it work. 
and, and still we still end up cutting a lot of product out of the inside of those things too to, to, to fit people. I know um, on first season we didn't really have, second season we didn't have really um, any, any actual like real heads, they were mannequin heads and they were very tiny. So we ended up cutting a lot out on the inside. But the other thing is too, foam is stretching, it's very forgiving. So we can just pull it over and kind of manipulate it and, and move it around to, to make Polyfoam it. Polyfoam isn't. I had an issue. No, polyfoam's finished. <laughs> okay, we've only got five minutes left. So if the, uh, the folks asking questions can make it very quick, and if you can do faster answers, that would. <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong. You want me to talk fastly, I can talk fast. Yes, I know you can. Oh, <laughs> So, but, but faster than faster answers. Quick yapping and ask a question. Hey guys, um, so what has been your reaction within the industry, within uh, makeup artists that you guys work with on a daily basis? That's not a short answer. Look at you guys going. Generally good. So what do you ever uh, think about doing anything uh, other than makeup? I might have a job for you if you do. Yes, I do, all the time. Yes. Yeah, act, I want to act and direct. <laughs> Okay, I mean, as far as the makeup part is, some love us, some hate us. But the thing is, though, is that we've done a great thing for the industry because it's put more attention toward makeup artists and makeup. So if they, if they hate us, they have to respect us for doing that because makeup tour registration has gone up three times since the show's been on the air. So how about that for the <laughs> Outside of the show, except for our own dogs. Whenever the question is on stage, that's on time we get to talk to them. 
you know, as far as being on the show, so we don't get to you know, hang out with the judges and things like that. Or I will say, you know, when, when LeVar Burt was on our season and we, we were leaving the same time he was, we all started singing Reading Rainbow at him. And LeVar just came over and started talking to all of us because we were like, it was, so that was kind of cool. So LeVar was really, really a cool guy. I'm excited for the judge of the upcoming episode. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Ben announced the, the guest judge in this next thing. I've read it on the internet. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Our, our guest judge is Jordi Shell. this next challenge, mm -hmm. who I have a ton of yes. respect for. And then at, at some point, I think it's, I don't know, it, I think it's been announced that we also have Elvira yeah. as, a, as a guest judge. Yeah, it'll be like a flash of one of the upcoming games. Yes. And they've actually gone with spoiler makeups this season. If you haven't noticed, you know, if you, if you don't want to see spoilers, come on the Facebook page. Yeah. Or watching the commercial because they've done a lot of. Uh, I've screenshot a lot of our stuff off of these things. Yeah. yeah, and there's also a lot of, of web extras too, like things that you don't get to see on the show. I don't know if you guys are going to the website, but check out the sci fi website because there's all these little funny videos that they keep posting about us. And it's like us. You're doing Bill Cosby impression? I'm Bill Cosby impression. Hold on, I'm going to be kind of here before you run out of time, okay? One day we're at the house <laughs> and RJ blows out his hair. Okay, yeah, he's, like, he's got a hair like this big. Around. It's like, RJ, you just need a basketball and a pair of shorts. <laughs> Look like Will Chamberlain. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I like, I like impersonating Bill Cosby, so... Another, another funny story is that Frank scared the crap out of me. Okay, he was in the house like a week. <laughs> and I, I walk around the corner of the house, and there's like this long pool and a hot tub at the end of it. And I walk around the corner of the house, and I see Frank floating in the hot tub. <laughs> Oh my god, he's had a heart attack in the hot tub. So I scream, Frank, start running, and say, I'm screaming his name. He pops his head, it's like, what? <laughs>